What is going on, guys? How's it going? Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. How are you guys doing? It's the weekend. How has your guys' weekend been? Tell me about it. I would love to know. And I'll tell you about mine in the meantime. Um, Saturday here, Saturday evening. And I've had a really lovely day. I went out with a friend for lunch, um, a late lunch, and she brought her dog along, which is a poodle. Like, it looks kind of, it's like maybe this tall. Not very big. Pretty small dog. Super fluffy, super cute, and it will sit on your lap like a child. It is the most adorable thing. Maybe I'll show you a picture of it next time, so... How could my day not have been amazing if that was how, you know, my lunch went? Um, but plenty of other good things have happened. Let's see. Um, I've been taking a lot of cold showers. It is so hot here that, like, every couple of hours I'm just like... <sighs> so I step in the shower, take a cold shower, and then, like, for another couple of hours I'm fine until I get too hot again, and then I have to cool down again. It's a whole it's a whole process, but I am enjoying the cold showers. It's really nice when you step out of the shower and you feel kind of refreshed and uh, relaxed from it. Um, and, ooh, another thing that I walked sort of by, sort of half participated in today is pride. Um, there's actually a pride parade in the city right now, and... I have seen so many almost naked people in the subway. You wouldn't be able to see any other time. It's really fun. Um, all of these people seem like they're having a lot of fun, like they're being super relaxed. There's a bunch of people at a park. There's music playing. Um, there's a kind of like little parade thing going on. It's, it's super, super nice. Um, and it just feels really nice to be around, even if I'm not like actively participating, but just having somewhere out there people that celebrate that have fun that are enjoying themselves kind of stuff um that feels good i really enjoy that um yeah that's sort of the update from my side i am super excited because you know what day it is today we're finally finishing our pokemon ultra moon run Let's go, and then we can start another Saturday game. Hi, Wonder Wonker. I'm pretty good. Had a very quiet weekend so far. Pretty busy with stuff, but in a nice and productive way. Also been playing a lot of games. Yeah, I saw that you played a lot of games. So my friend Wonder Wonker here has uh, taken it upon himself to beat my Hades record that we put up on Thursday which I was very proud of. We managed to get sub 12 minutes last Thursday. Um, and he beat that by over a minute. So I'm going to have to go back to that. Tuesday, Thursday next week. Well, Tuesday I'm going to be off, but Thursday next week we're going to do speed runs. And we're going to have to beat that time. So yeah, well, welcome in Wonder Wonker. I'm glad you're here. Um, and I'm glad your weekend is going well. That's lovely. Um, yeah, let's jump into the Pokemon. Let me pull up. Have it here somewhere. Just trying to make sure my camera is in focus. It's been doing a funny thing recently. And uh, let me tell you, I do not appreciate when it does funny things. No, I would like not to update it, my emulator. Thank you. Um, also got into playing Hollow Knight. I really like the aesthetics. It is a gorgeous game. It is so, so beautiful. As I mentioned, I was watching um, my favorite speedrunner um, play through Hollow Knight for the first time. And it just reminded me of just how gorgeous the game is. Like, everything about it is beautiful. Um, I love, in particular, that every new region that you get to has, like, 
a very different feel, but the same overall aesthetic. Like they did that really, really well. All of the regions feel like they tie together in their art style, but they also feel very distinct, um, which I think is quite amazing given how large the game is. I don't know how far in you are, but there is a lot of Hollow Knight, a lot of uh, Hollow Nest, I suppose, to explore. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, I was watching that speedrunner play through the Path of Pain, which is at basically the very end of the game. There is a platforming section. Elizabeth! Hi! How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. How are you doing? I've been super well, by the way. I got myself a new haircut. I can't. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I'm wearing it down on the other side today. It feels really weird because my hair is like not the usual intended way, and my head is confused about that. But yeah, we've been playing Pokemon. Almost finished with that. How are you doing? How are you feeling with uh, just relaxing? That sounds good. Well, welcome in. You've come to our final playthrough. Well, our final minutes of the playthrough of uh, Pokemon Ultra Moon, where we're going to beat the Poke League now. Um, I've been vi very tired as of late, been napping tons. Yeah, I can relate to that. It's been very hot here, so I've been napping like uh, a maniac, basically. Honestly. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes, you know, a couple of extra naps aren't necessarily bad, so... As long as it doesn't bother you, I hope. Um, that seems all right. Um, yeah, but when I woke up, what I was saying about uh, Hollow Knight is that the Path of Pain is a, is a platforming section at the very end of the game. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but it is as the name implies a path of pain. It is literally the hardest platforming section in the game. And somebody once asked me to play it um, on stream as a sub goal or as a you know follower goal or whatever. Um, and I was contemplating doing that. And I am now so glad I didn't do it because this person that I was watching, they were definitely better at the game than I ever was. And it took them literally a thousand tries like a thousand starts of the different section across it to get through it 1000 and i think 15 or something which is insane like he just did that for like six hours straight and i was like that's that looks like little hell i mean it's the path of pain after all so that is kind of what it's supposed to be but that sounds like a lot of fun Honestly, I wouldn't know, because the thing is, you need to both be very focused on it, because it's actually really difficult, and then you want to be entertaining people, so you're just watching me go like this for like hours at a time, and I don't know if that would be truly entertaining for anyone, so yeah. I also know the entire game already, so like playing through it again on stream, I don't think I want to do. It is a very long game. Like, you, you can easily play, like, 40 hours or something. I know you're good at games, so it'll probably take you, like, 30 or something. But maybe 40 with, like, the uh, final endings and stuff. But, yeah. Let me know how, how it goes and, and how far in you are. I'd be super excited to hear about that. Um, all right, we're starting. We are up here on the mountain. Mount Lanakila, I believe. And with our final team, we are about to enter the Poke League for the very first time. Um, let me introduce to you our current team that we're going to take into this final round. First up, we have Chicken, our Dragon Ground Flygon. Um, Chicken has been added to the team very recently, um, is very fast, so I guess you'll have to grind levels for Chicken now. Yeah, so my plan was to just take them in, 
and fight the poker league as far as we get and if we die we got a bunch of xp it's definitely faster to grind on the actual league than to grind by fighting a bunch of pokemon outside was my thinking anyways if you th if you can think of a better way to grind up let me know but yeah we just added chicken last time because we really wanted dragon pokemon on the team and we were missing ground which is super important for one of the trainers in the uh, poker league so Flygon is really good. Middle ground for that. Huh. Get it? Get it? Middle, middle ground? Okay, I'll stop with the puns. Let's stop with the word puns. Um, we've got Batman, our Necrozma, this legendary that we've caught last time, um, right before the Poker League. He has some psychic attacks. He's a psychic type, but he also has rock, dark, and steel. He kind of is all over the place. Um... Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty pretty good. We'll see what we do with him. I haven't decided yet. Um, we've got Strahd, Poison Flying, our Crobat again, very fast, which is super good. Um, and most of these are level s almost level sixty or level sixty and above, um, with the exception of Flygon, of course. Um, we've got our Decidui, which is covering the Ghost and Grass aspect. Um, we switched out our Haunter because it wasn't uh, up to strength. And we have Ghost here, so we didn't really need it. Um, he's going to be covering uh, Grass Ghost types. Then we've got Floof, which has a little bit of Rock and a little bit of Electric. Again, super beefy, very defensive, lots of HP. Um, really good Pokemon overall. And then Cha, which is going to be our carry. He's our highest level. He's level 70 already. Um, and he is fighting, flying, but also has a rock move that we can sometimes throw in. Um, that's the team. Yeah, pretty quick as well. And I believe... This team should be ready to go in there. Um, I am going to switch Floof to the back, uh, chicken, sorry, to the back. Um, because I don't want him to go in and die. I want him to level up. Maybe get an item on chicken? Yes. Uh, you know what we could give chicken? Our focus sash, if we still have that. Um, because that would ensure that if we switch him in, he doesn't immediately die. Um, where is that thing? We used that at some point. It might still be on some other Pokemon in our... Yeah, it's probably on a Pokemon. I think they're used up once used. Really? I thought it might be on one of our other Pokemon in the box. Let's see. Uh, held item... Yeah, no, it's gone, okay. All right, all right. Um, well, let's see what else we can give him then. No, let me go, let me go. Let's see, all right. Um, we can give you Type move, no. Power flying type moves. Uh, I might give that to Strahd. There we go. Discs and Ultra Ball. Nectar. I don't really have anything useful in here, frankly. Couple of seeds, shards. Nest ball. Little stone. Reduces the weight of a Pokemon when held. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have anything. That's really all that good. That's fine. Um, I don't want to send chicken out front anyways. Uh, I would much prefer he stayed in the back of the team and just 
stayed safe there. <laughs> so we can level him up um, until we need him. Or her. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I like the design of this. It's really pretty. Okay, let's uh, save. Alright guys, here we go! Um, somebody had it. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. It's like in the cave. Ugh, oh, that's pretty as hell. I love it. Four trainers. Every Pokemon League in every region all over the world features four fantastic trainers called the Elite Four. Here in Alola 2, we've got four trainers all lined up for our Pokemon League. You'll win your way past every last one of them. You can't leave until you do. Or until you give up. Hell yeah. Get me started. Halucha can sense when this trainer is nervous. Stay loose. You'll be fine. I expect you to show me some intense moves and real hard stopping battles in here. Good luck, Leo. Halucha. Oh, we got a new haircut last time as well. In case you haven't seen that yet. It is, uh... Ugly, and I love it for that very reason. All right, we'll start with this guy. I think he's the electric guy. Yeah. Hey. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, can we? Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. We're not backing out now. Kakui asked me to, so I decided to be in the elite four. I'm looking- oh, that's why he left. We watched Melanie leave. Steel types. Steel types. Cool, cool, cool. Looks up what steel types are weak to. <laughs> um. Fire, water. That doesn't seem right. Fighting fire ground, okay. I'm looking forward to battling against you and Sophocles in the Pokemon League. Oh, Sophocles is also joining for that? That's cool. <laughs> you look so awkward. I love it. <sighs> We're gonna also be fighting the ghost lady, I imagine. Yeah, he has that like silver style going on too. Very much a uh, steel type thing. Really? This is your opening Pokemon? This? Your keychain? I think you dropped something, sir. I should outspeed that easily. How? How are you faster than me? You're a keychain! And I'm like... Levels ahead of you. 14, in fact. Um... Let's see if he's going to... Yep, yeah, I suspected he might do that. It's fine. We should have used um, sword stance there. You know what? I'll do that now. I don't think he has anything crazy effective against me. Flash cannon. Nah, I ain't impressed. Dance it up, cha. <laughs> and now we take him down. Oh, reflect, you little, you little cheeky bastard. Hmm. Ouch, ouch. We are going to kill ourselves. Okay, we'll use a heal here. Honestly, we might be able to get through first try. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx that. But I want the paralysis off my jaw, because it annoys me. Um, if you can do that, we can do that. Bring on your flashy cannon. I ain't scared. What? What? How? Okay, let me move first, and then he gets to go? What? 
What kind of stupid priority move is that? That's some bullshit. No? Yes. Yeah, get him out of here. Nice, okay. Magnazone. That is scary. Not gonna lie. But we can high jump kick it. Don't miss. Don't miss. I'm s the most dangerous thing we have is our own high jump kick if we miss it. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Okay, that might hurt. Ah, yeah, that hurt. That's fine. Chad did, good, did a good job here. Um, who do we switch in? Strahd, because he is hella fast. And we can get uh, a move on him before he does on us. With Air Slash. That should just take it out. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is just Heal City now. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, don't mind me. Yeah, Strat's gonna have to come back. Uh, we can use Confuse right here, which might come in handy. But, um, very nice, very nice. We cannot actually poison uh, this Pokemon, so we're gonna have to switch. Uh, let's see, fighting. We don't have any fire moves, right? Um, I want to see how effective Night Slash is. Yeah, fighting fire ground. I I know that, but I am hesitant to send out Flygon a little bit. I want to see what moves he has first, because if they're mostly electric type moves, it'd be fine, because Flygon's immune to electric. Um. But if he has something like a steel move, then we might be uh, screwed. We don't want that. <laughs> Go, Batman! Yeah, did like nothing. Fantastic. Um, okay, that's uh, an electric type move. That's an electric type move. You know what? We'll risk it for the biscuit. Chicken, I want you to take it down. Wait, doesn't this thing have, mag have levitate though? Does Magnus gonna have levitate? Ha! Look at that switch. Get out of here. Earthquake him. Let's go, chicken. That's gonna be some good XP. Ooh! Ooh, look at that! I'm so proud of you, chicken. You did so well. Very good job. I wanna pet it. Metagross. Okay, that's a psychic type. Um, that is weak to dark and ghost. Um, so we are going to switch in ghost here. Good job, chicken. You can you can go take a break. Um, so that's a steel psychic type, which is so cool. Let's be real. Metagross has a Mega Evolution, which I think is just the coolest thing. We're going to go Sinister Arrowhead on this one. Swanky Z move. Let's go! God, the animation is so long. So very long. It's incredible. It goes very slowly, but it did kill, which is what matters. Nice. Okay. What else you got? How many how many more Pokemon? By Sharp. Uh that's just a steel type, right? Dark Steel? Dark Steel. Okay, okay. Dark is weak to dark? Is that, is that dark, man? Um, 
no. Fighting fairy. Uh, any fairy moves? We don't have any fighting moves left. We do not have a bug. I'm scared of sending in chicken. I don't want chicken to die, but we might have to. I think this is his last Pokemon? Or his second to last, something like that. Alright, show me the Spy Sharp. I suspect the Spy Sharp is going to have a Z Power move because we well, haven't seen one yet. Oh, we go first. Look at how fast we are. Let's go. Nice. Okay, that's some decent damage. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, chicken lives. Let's go. Oh, uh, let's try Earth Bar. I don't know if that does more damage, but it might. It looks cooler. <gasps> yes, let's go chicken. Take him down. I'm so proud of our chicken. Chicken sweep. Good job. Ooh, Duck Trio. Yeah, that's ground. That's not a. S oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a ground steel. Grass, ice, water. You know who we should switch in? We should switch in Ghost. Just Doug Trio is actually very fast. It doesn't look it, but Doug Trio is a really fast Pokemon. Oh, here comes the Z Power move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that might hurt. Corkscrew Crash. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Okay, all right. <gasps> Ghost lives. Should I heal? Or just attack? We're gonna heal. Yep! Look at how fast it is! Told you. I told you so! Sorry, ghost. It's okay. You did well. I'm going to switch into Batman. And then revive uh, Cha. <laughs> that wasn't Cha, but. By the way, I'm just lurking while painting. That's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Um, what are you painting? It seems really cool. Ooh, Batman is about to go down. I'm sorry, Batman, but I need to heal. D&D &D miniatures? Oh, that's so cool! Man, I'm going to be doing a D&D &D session tomorrow that I'm super excited for. Um, it's gonna be a one-shot. Uh, in which I play a uh, Yuan T wizard hunter. So I'm going to be someone who's specialized, who's kind of half caster, half um, melee fighter, um, specialized in taking down wizards, like rogue wizard wizards. Blah words, words words, um, which I'm super excited for. Ooh, how does that do so much damage? <sighs> Tangling hair! Truly awful. Uh, I don't outspeed. We're just gonna die here. Ah, this is annoying. Sucker punch. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we should be able to finish this thing off unless he uses a heal here. In which case, screw him. That would be mean. Um, I 
confuse it and just hope it kills itself. Guys, this is the mega strat. Just you wait for it. Nah, <laughs> see? Did I tell you so? Or did I tell you so? <laughs> ah, good job, Strahd. That Kukui, he certainly found an interesting trainer for me to face. 11k money. Yeah. Kukui made trainers who he thought were strong into members of the Elite Four. But he didn't choose any challengers. He's waiting for fresh breeze to blow through Lola. I'll be that fresh breeze. Get me out of here. Oh, I really like the design of this poker league. I like the kind of floating platform over the uh, ice. No, it's not ice. It's like, yeah, it's maybe ice crystals, maybe diamonds or something. I love it. Will you heal my Pokemon? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, revive time. And heal time. Do, 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 do. I think we have enough revives and stuff, so we should be good. Ideally. If we run out of revives, that would that would suck. <laughs> um Yeah, we have a lot of potions. We have a couple of max revives too that we might throw in if things get really dire, but I want to save those because you can't buy them. Um, might run out of attacks. Oh, yeah. Well, the PP is always an issue, but we'll see about that. Um, there's a way to sort of cheat around that by teaching your Pokemon new moves that you have. Um, which restores, you know, the PP. Okay, so here's the ground type. Here is the psychic type or fairy. And here's the uh, green leaf type, my favorite. Um, okay, let's go for ground next. I think Ghost should be doing most of the work here. If this is ground, we'll see. We'll see what exactly her Pokemon are. Welcome to the rock chamber. That's rock. Yeah, I I figured that one out now. <laughs> A little late, but uh, that's fine. We have fighting, we have grass, we have ground. We should be good for this. Um, we have at least three Pokemon who can really do some work on this. So. I'm not worried about this chamber, so. But they chose some interesting typings for the final league. I mean, traditional is like, I think there's like an ice trainer usually and a, um, a dragon trainer. I think those are kind of standard. No introduction needed here. Time to battle me, Olivia. Let's go, Olivia. I love the design of the arena is also the design of a Pokeball. That's like just neat. It makes sense, but it's, it's really cool. Um, which kind of makes the platforms in itself like the lower half of an open Pokeball. Just think about it. It's all in the Pokeballs. Armaldo Rock Bug. Super weak to fire. And should be weak to jump kicks. Hmm. The fact that we don't one shot here is kind of upsetting. You know what we're gonna do? Sword stance. Watch me set up. So Maldo clearly has nothing it can use to kill us, so we're just gonna set up more. Set up Mon, and then we're gonna one-shot everything after. Ideally. I want to take this thing out. There we go. 
I am coming around to the setup strats, I have to say. It has taken me an incredibly long time. Gigalith. That is a rock. I think it's just the rock type. Um. Mm, okay, sandstorm. Cool, cool, cool. We might... And now he kills himself with the jump kick. It's... Yeah, like I said, that's our most dangerous attack, is missing the jump kick. <laughs> that's what the enemy could do to us. Um, I'm genuinely scared of that, but... Lycanroc. That's a pupper. Uh, also just a rock type. Um, but it's fine. We have we have ghosts. We can switch. Ooh, it's the midnight form. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we are going to run out of high jump kicks, but I have one PP restore thingy, so should be in the clear. Yeah, look at those setup strats. We are now a monster. Taken down by a sandstorm. I'm scared. <laughs> Proba pass is rock. Steel? Is it steel? Might be a steel crab. <laughs> don't miss. Just don't miss. There's always the little lag between when you click the attack and when you actually attack. Where he just kind of stands and you're like, no, 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 don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay. Paralyzed. Ugh, the sandstorm is actually killing me. Uh, I'm going to just air release here. Which I think can never miss, so... Unless we're paralyzed. I think it can. It can succumb to paralysis. If I finish this game in like 30 minutes now, then uh, we're just done. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be a very short stream. Um, yeah. I jump kick the Cradilly. Ooh! Dude, these setup strats. Our swords dance are definitely worth it. Level 71. Nice. I knew that Chao was going to carry. I didn't know he was going to carry this much. Really lovely. Both you and your Pokemon. Wow, we didn't even have to switch into anyone else. Easy! Uh, easy. I don't see the same look in your eyes that I saw when you first met on Akala Island. Have you had some experiences that you'll carry with you in your heart forever? Olivia, what are you asking about? Well, it's time for you to move on. Yeah, we've had some uh, experiences. Your Pokemon single it didn't even meet your gang. Yeah. You didn't even meet my chickens. <laughs> um uh, full restore. So far? Easy. Let's go. Goodbye, ma'am. Now we have the Psychic Fairy, whatever that is. I'm gonna assume that's a psychic. It's a ghost. Is a ghost? I think it might be ghost. Ghost or flying? Yeah. Flying. Well, flying we can deal with. Ghost. We can also deal with. But this one's a little bit more difficult because Cha isn't going to fix this one. And there is a couple of genuinely scary ghosts in this game. Like Mimikyu. So tiny, looks so innocent. Very much isn't. Okay. Nano said maybe he can't refuse a tap of choosing him to serve as Kahuna, but he'd be darned if he had to serve as one of the Elite Four just because some guy asked him. So I guess I'll just have to battle hard enough to make up for his not being here. Oh, she was second choice. I'm sorry. That's fine, though. You'll do well, Acerola. I believe in you. And we'll do better, of course, but... Can't win them all, right? There we go. 
Starting with a bonnet. Nice. I'm going to try and kill as much as I can with uh, Cha, but it's not going to be much, frankly. I can like aerial ace, and that's about it. Gaw! That does more damage than I would have thought. We are very strong. Look at that. Oh, well, we can take at least a banette out then. Let me move my timer down a bit so I see how many Pokemon they have. Well, we'll aerial ace again then if that does the trick so well. Bye, banette! Frostlass. That's a nice Pokemon if I've ever seen one. Mm. Ice is actually weak. Hey, final girl! Welcome in! Welcome in, final. Thanks for the raid! I appreciate it. Welcome in, everybody. You are witnessing our final final play of Pokemon here, um, Ultra Moon. We are about to beat the Elite Four. Well, fingers crossed we're about to be <laughs> beat the Elite Four. Yeah, this is my first ever raid. I'm so excited. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Um, I'll show you guys the party a little bit. So we have Cha, who's our... He's the man who does the work, let's say. Um, oh, oh, it's a ghost. It's not effective, but... Oh, dang it. All right. Um, he does the work, but not here, because this is the ghost fight, and he isn't really made for it. But that's fine. He's trying his best. Frostless is scary. Blizzard, okay. I mean, it's not setting up, which is good. Thank you, Final. I hope your stream went well. What did you guys stream? What did you guys uh, just play? Um, we're going to switch into Ghost here, who is also a ghost type Pokemon. This is our starter Pokemon here, a uh, Ghost, a Decidueye, and we're going to Spirit Shackle here. Okay. Ooh, we are a little weak to ice, I'm afraid. That's fine. This Frostlass, do be gone. You arrived at the end? <laughs> you didn't even get to see it? Well, at least you joined the raid, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Delmise. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Played Dead by Daylight in silence for two seconds. And Fall Guys. Aw, that's super fun. What is this Pokemon? That sounds super fun, yeah. I know you play a bunch of uh, scary games. I really want to watch, but I've, I've watched your stream a couple of times and uh, I am just too much of a chicken for that, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm going to be honest. Um, it scares me, so. Okay, well, this at least gives us priority moves, so that, let, that allows us to take one more Pokemon out with Ghost before we are inevitably going down. Um, Palos Sand. Haven't played Fall Guys in ages. Have they had some updates in the meantime? Hmm. I haven't. I've actually never played Fall Guys. This is, uh, yeah, mostly horror. Is that what you're saying, Subsy? Are you criticizing me for a move? Um.
Welcome in, Subsea, by the way. How are you doing? This is a ghost. Oh, you're quoting the room? Chick, 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 chick. I gotcha. Chick, 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 chicken. Um, I think Sucker Punch gets priority, yes, if the enemy is trying to attack. Hi, small ferret. Welcome in. How are you doing? Never ending nightmare. Ooh. Well, I'm glad my ghost is already dead. <laughs> Sorry, ghost. Ooh, that looks scary. Yeah, goodbye. That's fine. That's fine. Ghost be dead. Ghost be very dead. But that's okay. Who do we switch in? Is this a ground type? God. I'm going to switch in. Chicken maybe, but chicken is so weak, is the thing. I'm afraid of chicken just dying, which would suck. I'm trying to get him to get a bit more XP, but... And I don't know if this is a ground type, in which case our ground attacks aren't that good. It's at least pretty quick, yeah. Batman be weak to ghost, that's true. Let's see if chicken can outspeed. Um, we might use crunch. And go for the flinch cheese here. Because dark, ghost should be weak to dark. And maybe we get a second attack in. Chicken is extremely fast, so. Yeah, that was good, but that was not enough damage. Ooh, he tanked it. He tanked it. Let's see. I don't I do not know if this will affect it. It does, okay. Wow, no damage, like none whatsoever. Yeah, we are quite underleveled with chicken, unfortunately. Sorry, chicken, you did your best. Uh, I'm going to switch on Strahd and keep Floof for the end. We need the tanky one for the end here. Uh, don't tell me this is a Nuzlocke, no, 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 no. Uh, it's a speed run. But we are the first to submit uh, a speedrun in the category that we're running, so... Can I poison ghosts? I don't know. Um, so we're going for a wor world record. Uh, it's Pokemon Ultra Moon on emulator in English. Um. Oh, okay, okay, Drift Blim. This is time for floof. It's flying. I know how to take it down. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see on the timer, we've been on it for a while. I've taken my time to uh, do the voice acting and really get to know the game. Um, it's super fun. I really like this game. I think they did an incredible thing with um, this Pokemon generation. Like, it's a genuinely good game, I think. Um, with a bunch of new things that are really interesting. You know Twitch doesn't like emulators. Don't tell them. I know plenty of uh, Twitch streamers who use emulators, though. Sometimes you can't um, really play it any other way, right? Um, and I do actually own the game, and I have ported it to an emulator legally, so I'm not um, doing anything. Oh, ground type crap. Um, I'm not doing anything, uh, illegal here. I do not know what I just selected. Sorry. My, uh, controller went out. The ground is mean. The ground is mean indeed. This is looking a little, uh, a little spicy. We're going to switch Straw back in. We have a couple of revives, so... Do not despair. We can, um... Revive if need be. We're going to Air Slash. Floof, no. Yeah, no. I like Floof. Floof is good. Oh, we got the flinch. Let's go. 
Take him down. <gasps> no, not now. We were so close. So close. Damn restores. Okay, we'll we'll um we'll switch to a confuse ray strategy and hope that hey, helps us out. Strahd is a beast. Look at him. And this Palosan is definitely going to be confused next turn. I'm calling it. Now it's not the time to do that or ride your bike inside. <laughs> yeah, that is basically what I was trying to do. Um, again? Get the hell out of here. This is the second restore on the same Pokemon. Not cool. And you know what I will do? I will confuse Ray you again because screw you. I feel like this gen is the first word they use multiple restores in a fight. I know they always have at least one, but I genuinely didn't know that they do more than one, particularly not in the same Pokemon. Like, imagine if it was an actually scary Pokemon. Like, imagine if this was, like, you know, the Dragon Trainer, and he uses it on his Garchomp or something. I would cry. I would genuinely cry. Is this the League? Yes, Subsea. This is the League. We are on trainer number three. Um, you know there's a berry to cure confusion. Um, yes. But we, thankfully, don't have to cure it. The enemy does, and they're clearly not doing that. So, they're lost, really. Okay, this paralyzed Drift Blim. What do we do with it? Confuse it first. We're just going for all the cheese here. Guys, it's, it pays off, I promise. <laughs> Small fur does not like Drift Blim, it seems. Can't move. Paralysis. Very nice. Very good. That's what I want. Now take him down. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. It steals children, yes. The Pokedex entries to Driftblim and Drifloon are genuinely horrifying. Like some of the ghost Pokemon entries in general are just the stuff out of nightmares, straight up. Okay, we're gonna cross poison here just to preserve some of that PP. Now are you going to help me beat it up? There you go, small fur. That one's for you. And that, I believe, is trainer number three. Let's go! I thought we were gonna have to grind a bunch, but you know what? We're gonna do this first try. Watch me. Last trainer, uh, Wonder Wonka. What type are we up against for the last one? What is that leafy thing? Flying. Okay, well, Floof needs to come back. And we're just gonna thunder everything. How about that? Okay, let's uh, take out some revives. I like how in Sun and Moon, two male members in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, only one member. Did they switch him around? I didn't know that. I haven't played uh, Sun and Moon. I've only played uh, this one, so... Should we use the Max Ether? The thing is, I think Cha is going to go down in this fight very quickly anyways. On, on Cha's... Um, uh, high jump kick. The thing is, like, fighting isn't going to be good in that fight, so... And he's super weak to flying, so I don't know if that's actually going to be that useful. We d we'll heal him up. Yeah, he won't do much for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking so too. What I might do is uh, use my... 
my level up candy, my rare candy on uh, Floof, just to give him a little bit more of an edge. We have two of those, might as well use them, right? There we go. Uh, just uh, make him a little stronger. All right, goodbye, Acerola. Thanks for fighting me. It was a pleasure. Um, <laughs> let's see. Why did they make it green and not blue? Swap him into first position as well. Um, I want to see how much work I can do with Cha beforehand. Doesn't Floof's floofiness prevent him from having an edge? Floof becomes... Who are you? Floof becomes less floofy over time, unfortunately. So he's now edgier than ever before in his final evolution. So here you are. Why don't we see who the wind's favor today? You or me? I had never seen this lady before in my life. Who is she? Who are you, ma'am? I like the animation, though. This is cool. Who are you? Speak. I'm sure she thinks the same thing. <laughs> well, yeah, but she's the one who who strangers come to, so that shouldn't be that weird, right? Kahili. Alola. And Alola once again. My name is Kahili. A few years ago, I was a champion of the Island Challenge too, just like you. I've been traveling the world to improve my skill as both a trainer and as a golfer. Is there a Pokemon golf game? Is that a thing? Is this character from a Pokemon golf game that I don't know about? Interesting. When I heard that they have made a Pokemon League in my own home region, I came flying back to serve Alola. Well, random backstory dump, right? I mean, they kind of have to do that because I'm like, who are you? So... Have a look at my fantastic flying type team. Well, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, she's a golfer. Flying golfer. Uh, a little weird, but sure. Braviary. Cool, cool, cool. That's a cool burb. He's just a normal type, right? Flying normal. We can, with Cha, throw some rocks before we go down. That is, that is what we can do. Yeah, look at him. He's doing work. Speed fell. Nice. <gasps> oh no. He's scary. That's so weird that they did their own animation for a character. Or have there be other trainers like that. Uh, I think she's the first golfer we meet. First golfer I can think of. Ooh, we are so dead. <gasps> he lives! Let's go! And he killed itself! Oh, what a move, Cha! Mandy Buzz, dark flying. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna keep battling. I think we're gonna take out this Poker League. Oh, we do have to fight, uh, what's his face? Uh, how? One more time before we do, of course. Quick claw! Let's go! Drop those raw hawks. Oh, that didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would. Ah, they all have Brave Bird. Why? That's so scary. Okay, sorry, Cha. <sighs> mm. What? This is a dark type. We might switch something else in first. That's good against dark. Like... Yeah, we already have all of our... Uh, fighting. We are Team Floof. We are Team Floof. We are the Floof. Floof is the champion. Thunder it! Thunder. Damn it. We missed. Ooh, flatter. We'll take that special attack. For confusion, that's fine. Thunder! 
God damn it! We missed twice. Ah, oh, that's what you get when you use thunder, guys. Oh, but look how beefy he is. That brave bird does not impress him in the least. Okay. <clears throat> thunder! God damn it. Should've just used this charge, let's be real. But I believe in Floof. I want him to hit this. I said... <clears throat> THUNDER! For crying out loud, Floof, this might be the first time you ever miss a thunder. And it has to be four times in a row. Here. Really. This is what we're doing. Fine. Use this charge then. Thunder or get the fuck off, right? I mean, this thing's half dead. He'll kill himself with recoil, yeah. Okay. <gasps> it's the one, the only, the Halucha. I need a flying attack on that. So we're actually gonna switch in strong. <laughs> Redo. Doesn't count, wasn't thunder. It's okay, thunder is coming back. We do want to take out the Halucha first, though. Oh, it breaks the mold. No. Not the mold! What is it using? What is that? Okay. Chop chop! Ooh, nice. Of course! Of course, full restore. Can air slash even miss? Only shooting stars break the mold. Yeah, I I know that song. I get some references. See, see me. Um. Okay, we are running dangerously low on our attacks. I don't think we get a heal for the final fight, so we are going to have to use our PP for that. Uh, I am going to cross poison here. Throat chop is what it's using, okay. Uh, just because I want to s preserve some of my PP. There goes the Halucha. Nice. Level up. Very nice. 59. Two cannon? Yeah. You know what I say about two cannons? <clears throat> wait, wait. <clears throat> Thunder. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. <clears throat> Oricorio. Okay. What version? It's probably the electric one, wouldn't it be? Oh, it's the dancing one. Fire? What's with my controller? Hello? Hello? Now just hit the thunder? Fire? Fire. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a fiery one. No. Ah. Floof. Just one more thunder. It's all I'm asking. Oh, it's trying to confuse us twice? No. We are confused enough as is, clearly. A cannon on hand is worth a two cannon in the bush. That is the worst word pun I've heard today. Oh, come on, Floof, what are you doing? It's just dancing. What's with the dancing? Crap. Hmm, okay, what do we have for you? Rocks is what we have for you. 
I think that should be four times effective. If that doesn't kill, then I don't know what will. Stop confusing me! What is this? It's a uh, dancing bird that all it does is confuse us. And my Pokemon can't snap out of it, it seems. Look at it dance. I have to say, Floof really didn't bring this his A-game. Floof has brought his A-game everywhere other than the Poke League so far, it seems. It's okay, he'll get one more chance in the final fight. Um, I wasn't talking about the bird. Oh, you were talking about Batman? Batman is our Necrozma. It's the uh, legendary Pokemon that we caught. And it's a an ultra-dimensional traveling ultra beast that steals the light. You wielding the Dark Knight at your beck and call? Yes. Yes, I am. Anything wrong with that? <laughs> it's frustrating to me as a member of the Elite Four, but it seems your strength is the real deal. And you just murdered a Robin. Ah, uh, oh, oh, nice. Good one, good one. Okay, that one was a good pun. Good word pun. You know, I think you'll bring a breath of fresh air to the Alola battle scene. I was honestly annoyed when Kukui kept pestering me to come here, but I'm glad I did. Hmm, let's go. <sighs> Last healing up. Revive all of our dead Pokemon. Um, we have seven max revives. If we don't make it through this final battle, then uh, I'm doing something terribly wrong. Um, full restore. That should get rid of the confusion too, ideally. And then I am going to use this on Cha. Wait, what? Which moves power? Don't I have to pick the move? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, all of them? Okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. <sighs> Are you guys ready for this? The final battle. I love the design of this Pokemon League so much. Like it's under the crystals. Up in this cavern, suspend it. Not ready, give us five. Damn it. Fine, okay. We're uh, giving sub C five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's go! I hope that was enough for you. You rascal. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, hey, here we go. Oh yeah, now you're the Pokemon League champion. Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want that title. It's always one more person. Of course, that trainer is me! Woo! Just kidding. Kukui, you funny one. It's me, Mario. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what? Something kind of hit me after I finally beat my old Gramps in an all-out serious battle. You're kind of my hero, Leah. You and your team are, I mean. And because I really look up to you, I really want to have a serious battle against you. I really want to be able to win against you. Because it's way more fun when Pokemon and their trainers are all friends and get along. Then they can do something really amazing. Guys, guys, I forgot to save. If we screw this up, then we have to do it all over again. Oops. That guy is so strange. He is a character. Most certainly, yes. 
All right, how? Bring it on. This is a psychic type, right? Right, right, right. It's uh, an electric psychic. Mm. I'm going to switch into ghost here. What a step down from blue and silver. <laughs> yeah. There, there were cooler rivals at some point, but I do think the story is really nice um, and cute, so... Take it down! Wait, what? No, don't take me down. Take it down. There we go. That right is very fast, of course. I honestly really like the Alolan Raichu design. I think it's really cool. Um, I saw it in Pokemon Snap, and there it's at the beach, riding waves on its tail, sort of like a surfboard. And I think that's so cool. Um, I think that's the way to go. Oh my day is the dance. Why that dance? Because it's the Z-move dance that we have to do. It's, uh, it's part of the thing. Flareon? Interesting. Uh, yeah, we're actually not gonna switch because we're dead anyways. Mm. We can get one more sucker punch in, ideally. Ah, that did an okay amount of damage, actually. And there goes Ghost. Ah, sorry, Ghost. If I were a trainer, I'd give up on Z moves due to embarrassment. Yeah, due to embarrassment and the amount of time it takes for the move to load, which is just infinite. Uh, what do we do with you, Flareon? Flareon, Flareon. Rock, rock, right? Yeah. Or have a better dance. You don't get to pick. You you get given the dance when you get the, the stone or whatever crystal it is, um, and then you have to do that dance, I'm afraid, so. I guess you could come up with your own variation, I expect. Crabominable? What? What? Is that a fighting thing? Is that, that's like a... Oh, it's that thing. That's horrifying, not gonna lie. But it is weak to fighting, so it's also a dead. Let's go. Let heads go. Primarina. Okay, guys. It's a crab with no pincers? That's sad. Floof gets one more chance here. Floof, it's your time to shine. I want that thunder and I want it pronto. Do you hear me? <sighs> no, we tank that. Yeah. Floof, you had like one job. One job. Fuck's sake! How does it eat? Uh, through its hands. I must say. That really wasn't what I, what I wanted you to do there, Floof, honestly. It's fine. We are switching to poisoning. This Prima Arena is genuinely a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I mean, that's gonna hurt bad. Hydro Vortex. Oh, no. Ah! Next up, full heal. Oh, don't jinx it. Might even be true. Um. 
I'm going to revive here. Might as well use those max revives that I have. Um, seven full revives are hurt. Yeah. Where are they? There. So I want Floof back. He gets one last chance. Yeah, you called it, Wonder Wonka. You called it. Here comes the heal. And then I am going to also revive a ghost. Is that a fairy type move? Water type? What what move is this? Mm, I mean, this is stab, so we're gonna go for that. Stab and stronger, I believe. So. That that is an okay amount of damage. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's go, Batman. Take it down. Wow. Nice. Imagine if enemy trainers were also allowed to use full revives. The madness. The chaos. It'd be insane. Ooh, Noivern. <sighs> okay, Floof. Yet one last chance. I want you to hit that thunder or you are going back in the box and you're not coming back out. You hear me? I just need you to hit one thunder. Wait, this isn't weak to fun thunder? Okay, fine. One power gem. Oh no. Ow. Ow. It is so tanky though. Floof is so tanky. I love it. Fine. You're redeeming yourself. It's, it's alright. I love you still, Floof. With your absolute beefness. The Lord of Beefs. Taurus. Yeah. If that's your last Pokemon, then I know who we send in. It's not beef, it's lamb. But it's a beefy lamb. I love that he has one of his grandpa's Taurus. That's like story-wise pretty cool, I have to say. I mean, it's super weak to uh, fighting, so it's going to go the frick down, but I think it's cool regardless. Goodbye, Taurus, and guys, a minute from now, we're gonna keep moving forward by staying at full power all the time. Dun, 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 dun. We managed to pull off something pretty amazing when my partners and I were all in sync and wanting the same thing. It looks like we're still one step away from being the strongest trainer and team. But you know what's funny? Even though we lost, that was more exciting than any other battle I've had till now. Everything's all mixed up inside me. It was so fun and so frustrating and just... Yeah, it was awesome, really. Amazing. You and Howe are both amazing, Liam. It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. And you just proved me right. Congrats, cousin. You're a champion we can all be proud of. Better get ready. You don't want to miss precious seconds. Yeah, I have my hand on the spacebar. I told you, didn't I? Up there on Mount Hokulani. Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. I want everyone in the world to know that, too. That's always been my dream. And right here, right now, it finally came true. We, with our stupid smirk and that never-changing facial expression, I love it. And it's all thanks to you, Leo. You and your halucha. I'm so happy I got to see that flame and hot battle here, right where my dreams came true. And now, Leo, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. You did sub 30 is possible? Do you think sub 30? No. Sub 30. 
Well, if we redid it, sub 30 might be possible, yeah. It's time we record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. I don't know when the timing is, guys. But I think it's now. I'm gonna go with it now. Stop it. Timer. Do the thing. There we go. Ghost. Nice. Floof. Oh, uh, it was an iconic jab at your long-winded speedrun. I don't know what you mean. It was uh, perfectly well-timed. 30 hours, 15 minutes. Seems like a good time. Look at our team. Look at them go. Batman and Strahd and Cha and Ghost and Floof and Chicken. Yeah. Nice. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Leo? Yep, and that's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to, ever to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I hope you're ready for some rivals. It would be so fun if you actually got to defend your position as the champion after the game is done. I would love that so much. Come on, Leo. Let's go celebrate you becoming Alola's first ever champion together with everybody. My old Graham said we'd have an awesome party no matter which one of us won. Let's go. And that random golfer. <laughs> everybody and that one random golfer. All right, Leo, let's bust a U-turn for Mealy Mealy Island. We're going to have a big festival in Iki Town. Don't worry. I'll be sure to let Lily know too. Party time! Woo! Look at that! Let's go! I also watch fun. That was actually awesome. I, I really enjoyed that. Oh, it's Sophocles. Look at him. Is there a Pikachu in his shirt? Next game, Hollow Knight Randomizer. Dear Lord. Next game, Mass Effect Remake. Feeling relieved now to have it finished? Yes. I, I think this is actually a really good game. Like, I had a lot of fun playing this. Um, and if somebody took my speedrun with a halfway decent time, I might consider speedrunning it again to, like, you know, actually speedrun it this time. Here he is, the first Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for celebration, so let's all get to it. Oh, look at us go. Yay. Um... Sub C, the next game we're going to be playing is actually uh, Transistor, which I'm super excited for. Ah, <laughs> friend standing in the forest. Look at him go. Ah, cute. You played it right. Transistor? No, never played. Um, that's why. Since I've been playing so much Hades, it's like I really need to check out Transistor, and I'm actually super excited for that. Um, are they stopping their evil ways? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, I heard basically only positive things about it, so I was like, you know, I really should be checking this out. Aw, look at them. Guzma, you can't leave him. <laughs> They're back to researching. 
Oh, the tourists. What are those doing there? I wonder what's happening to the multidimensional chaos now. It has, has it been properly resolved? Sort of, but not really? Oh, is that Zygarde? What is that doing here? That's like the wrong game. Oh, we can go catch legendaries now, it seems. So Zygarde is in some cave somewhere. Um, seems this guy takes over here. Says goodbye to our international, interdimensional traveling friends. Um, hmm. What's in his hand? Interesting. There's a lot going on in this uh, final scene here. <laughs> um, I think there's some post uh, credit stuff that we could be doing, but I don't think I, I want to go catching legendaries here. Is it going to be trade uh, in this game? Or what do you mean? What do you mean by trade? Um, Gladian! Oh, where is he going? It looks like he's taking the uh, train somewhere. I mean, trade with the aliens. Uh, possibly. Is humanity going to join the Transdimensional Council? <laughs> Think you mean the plot from Mass Effect here. <laughs> Are you going to learn their ways? We've already learned their ways. It's like this. Um, Master the technologies? Possibly, I don't know. Where is Gladian going? Oh, it's his mom seeing him off. Look at her being not a complete asshole for once. Aw, that's cute. I guess he's going to go to some other Pokemon region to uh, see what he can do there. Teleportation alone would change the face of civilization. Yeah. I don't know if they have to. I guess they have interdimensional teleportation, so that that might be a thing that goes on there. Yeah, we haven't even seen the other tapus, I just realized. Well, waving your son goodbye without saying a word isn't quite not being an asshole, lol. Eh, it's an improvement, I suppose. But that's Tapu Coco. What about the other tapus? Hmm. Yeah, that's our tapu. Hmm. Okay. Surprising lack of legendaries to catch in this game, I have to say. The other thing we haven't really encountered, and this is because I think we were skipping over it from the speedrun, but um, we haven't encountered any of the Alter Beasts. Other than, like, the legendary ones that uh, we fought directly. Um, but there's uh, Guzzlord and Buzzwall. And there's a bunch of Ultra Beasts. There's Fiola or whatever that's called. Pheromo Pheromona? That tall, slender one. Um... There's one that looks like a giant uh, walking tower. We haven't seen any of those. Look at this, everybody's so fired up. Woo, got the birth of Alola, strongest ever trainer to celebrate after all. I may have lost, but I'm gonna keep working hard to be totally in sync with my partners and pull out my Pokemon's full power. And then I'm coming for you, champion Leo. Sure thing. Leo? Sorry, I mean champion? I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners, too. Come on and show us those partners that were there for so many of your discoveries, new experiences, and adventures in the Island Challenge. Aw, the whole crew is here. And that one random lady from the golf club. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, Mom, I haven't seen you in, like, ages. Hmm, you're positively glowing. Love how our mom didn't even once, like, call us this entire time. You know, maybe the time where we traveled to another dimension. Or the time where we beat the island challenge. She just wasn't around, really. She's not a super, uh, 
responsible mom. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right, look at that. Remember those annoying calls in silver gold? Oh God, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, now that we're done, I don't have transistor ready to go, so we're gonna do that next week. Um, but what we could do is do a Hades run real quick. Wonder Wonker, I'm coming for your. I'm coming for your record. Just watch me. Um. So, Subsy, you might not know this, but I, last week, um, no, this week, Thursday, um, did some speedrunning practice in Hades and actually got a new record. I was gonna say world record there, holy shit, no. A new record of my own um, personal best time. That is sub 12 minutes. And I was proud enough of it to Oh, I thought world record. God, no. You would have heard about that, trust me. Everyone would have heard about that. Um, oh, that's definitely not it. Um, Um, one sec. This is the wrong layout. Ah, there we go. Um, yes, yeah, so we got 11.30. Had one to two runs that could have been sub 10, but then four to five tunnel sticks. Yeah, I know, I know. That's tough. It really sucks. It like takes the it takes the excitement out of your run when you like go to your second tunnel and then your third tunnel and then your fourth tunnel and at that point you're like the run's dead. Gee, it's over. Um, I understand. Uh. Okay. Oh, where's my hmm? That sizing does not look right. There we go. Just a second, I'm setting this up. What is world record nowadays? Which weapon? Eris, obviously. Five minutes... something. It's like sub six minutes. Um, it's an insane time. Um, but... Like, sub seven minutes gets you in, like, top 55 or something. So there's a lot of regular room. Top 12 minutes doesn't even get you sub 500 on the leaderboard, unfortunately. But that's okay. Okay, let me move over here. Look at that. Some Hades. And uh, our timer with our current PB. Which is 11 minutes, 27 seconds. Um, just to do... Uh, like one or two runs though. My hand kind of hurts, which is unfortunate. Um, so this is our mirror setup. We go for Fiery Presence, the June Soul. Family favorite because we don't stack any bonuses on this build. Um, we don't get more, uh, effects than two. And Dark Force had Fated Persuasion, so we can reroll boons to get 
what we want. Um, and then we're going to be running Zeus keepsake on an Eris rail, which works as follows. You try to get Zeus on your attack um, and Poseidon on your dash. Those are sort of your cornerstones. Then you try to get something that does a bunch of damage, uh, percentage damage on your special. Those are sort of the, the basic setup there. Um, We use um, extreme measures to get the better learny fight, the faster learny fight, and we use uh, forced overtime to make the enemies faster, which makes them both faster, but also die faster. Um, dying because they move more, uh, which makes them spawn quicker, and um, when they have jolted effects, they take more damage. Starting strong. Nice. Um, and then what we basically try to do is stand in our special and kill things as quickly as possible while staying near the exit. No timer. You're right. Ah, oh, god damn it. I forgot to start the timer. Um, we should also do a death at the beginning. Also miss the Nyx gate. A zero second run. Damn it. I missed the zero second run. Um, we, we need to start with a death anyway, so we'll start with that. Now my timer starts. Well, thank you, timer, for nothing. Change weapon. Uh, I'm just I'm just doing the death. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, because you need to start with the death pre uh, pre speed run, anyways. And we want to be rule conform here in case you know I get a super great time and want to submit to the leaderboard. And now we do this. Ooh, look at that damage. I remember you telling me about your uh, trap damage run. Um, sub C. That turned out to be really, really deadly. Because it's actually a lot of trap damage. There we go. Okay, starting with the death. Resetting the timer. Now switching to the correct weapon and starting over. And ideally, starting the timer as well. Yes, but it was the Hades vases that killed me, I think. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's not, you know, the thing in the first room. Okay. Here we go. We'll take that back off because we definitely do not want that. All we want is extreme measures two and forced overtime. Wait, this feels like too much heat. Nine heat, is that right? Yeah, seems right. <sighs> okay, there we go. Starting with a hammer, okay. 
Uh, we'll take the triple bomb. That's not good, but acceptable. Um, actually, starting with a hammer on the gun is pretty bad. But we'll get Zeus next. Okay, so that's a, that's a good save there. Bad reload there. That was a bad room just all over. Don't forget you have three specials. You are right. I did forget. Okay, I'll step it up now, promise. I don't want Athena. Screw Athena. Okay, I just need to get back in the... Uh... Back in the feel of it. I'm getting there. Uh, we want the gems because they give us health. <laughs> Fast room and chaos gate. I don't know what I gave up on for that, but darkness gives health. What is, what do the gems give me then? Money? Nectar? Money? Mm. None of these are great. The 50% damage striking undamaged foes is pretty good. I'll take that. Darkness gives health, yeah. Okay. Mm That was a fast one. Their appetite for bloodshed cannot easily be sated. A goal to strive for? No. Um, definitely battle rage. Didn't even see what that room was. Oh, I forgot that everybody shoots uh, inferno bombs at me now. Holy shit, I took a lot of damage there. <laughs> um, God, these are all garbage. Fine, I'll take this. Here comes my Poseidon, hoping for a dash. Oof, that's fine. Stop next to the exit. That's good. And spirit still. Then come, let's make some waves. Okay. Normal dash, we'll take it. Acceptable, acceptable. God, I need that chaos boon to be lifted ASAP. So that I wasn't going to die again here. Finally. Ooh, that chaos was not fun. Moving on, moving on.
Perfect finish. Can you turn sound up? Sure thing. Let me know if that is too loud or if that's good. Shop. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll pay for that. Mm. I think hydraulic mine is actually good in speedruns. Good enough to eat. Okay. Now we want a speedy uh. fight here. Oh, good. Good. I actually hate the interaction of Poseidon Dash and the special unless you have the rocket. I'm always pushing enemies out of the area. I mean, you can take a different dash if you don't like it. I mean, it's not, you're not forced to, I suppose. Final bit. Try not to die here. Ooh, that was close. I took a lot of damage there. 10 seconds late. That's still pretty acceptable. Good time still. And we're moving up. Moving up. Asphodel is always my uh, gain a bunch of time place. So. We're picking Artemis for our special now. I think she has the best specials, so we want that, ideally. Should I take the trade? Um, yeah, the moving up, moving on. Pretty simple so far. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, I just realized, let me change the stream title. That reset my timer. Fantastic. All right. The Asphodel then we're gonna use the in-game timer for this run, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh no, it's set back. Okay, nice. It syncs with the in-game time automatically. Sweet. Nice, staying in the top right. Uh, I want Next time more. Oh, whoops. Didn't do the split though. Okay, oh, thank you. That did some weird laggy thing there. Okay, story room. We will take that story room any day. <gasps> Fishy. Fishy. Look at that. Slug. Our singing just a bit here, hon. Different song, I like it. Yeah, we're taking the nectar. Uh, because we are still looking for Hermes and we're still looking for Artemis, which we're getting now. So we want that to be higher rarity, ideally. There comes the run killer. Guys, it's the barge. Yeah, this isn't going to be the run, unfortunately. But we'll still use it to practice our uh, running techniques, so...
That didn't take forever, I suppose. Though have a blessing. Just in case you can't relate. I will take that, thank you very much. That is the blessing I desired. God, this is a lot of spawn. Um, let's take the money, actually. I might spend that on something good later. There we go. Oh, yes, witches, my favorite. dying so very much please give me health at the shop because I don't want to die so very much yes we'll take that um Typhon's Fury I believe is good we'll take that too we'll take the level up we'll take all of this actually and to Lurney we go Let's have it out between us then. Oh, that was fast. Holy crap. I like definitely crit there. Easy. Get the ads. Second phase done. Trying pretty hard not to die here, but not hard enough, apparently. That's fine. There we go. And final phase. Easy as that. Lonely fight feels so satisfying, honestly. I love it. I do also like that the in-game time pauses. Super easy, right? It feels satisfying though, even though it's easy. It's just like, yeah, feels good. That <laughs> blasted Hydra never takes my feet back. Nice. Okay, we're gonna take the sigil here. Um, I don't have any money. I want to keep all of that. I have to go for a nap now. It was nice to chill for a bit. If you're still alive when you wake up, I will definitely come back. Enjoy your nap. I hope you're doing well. I hope little uh, Robin is doing well. And. Um, I'll see you around. Thanks for stopping by, by the way. Close. I hope your uh, drawing went well. Bye. Okay. Up to Elysium we go. Yeah, the split timer is kind of off now. Here comes our Hermes. This run, unfortunately, won't be the one, but that's okay. Gotta get all the bad luck out of the system, right? Where are you running to? Not don't run away from me. Run toward me. Right on time. There we go. Mmm, care package. That's nice of you. Could you give me a care package of something I actually want? 
greatest reflex. We'll take that. Ooh, do I take chaos? Uh, sure, sure. I do kind of want the Zeus, but chaos do be the faster choice, so. The name of Hades. Ah, oh, these are really good. I want my special to do 70% more damage. It's insane. Oh, hi! Look at who it is! Hi, Than. Hi, sir. Gotta love when Than comes to check on you. Race you, Than. <laughs> Race you, Than. Actually, I should just stay out of the way and uh, stop dying. Save my life here. Since this doesn't go towards the timer anyways, might as well. See what's around. There's a well there that could give us some health. Definitely want to pick that up. That would be nice, but we cannot afford a... I'm off as well. Good luck, have fun. Gibberish? Is it gibberish? Thanks, Epsi. I will uh, see you around. Bye. Yeah, we didn't need that at all. Oh man. God. Let's run. It's cursed. It is cursed. Oh, and the Cheerios. Worst. Next. to practice my movement and make sure it's kind of smoother. Um, oh, I should have gone for the boss fight. Hammer. Let's see. Let's see if the hammer does, does us any good. I'm having a run in the meantime. Let's see how this works out. Oh god. Please do not improve on your time any further. Yeah, that would... That would make it much harder for me. God, there's so many witches in this room. Get out of here, you little shit. Ooh, rocket bombs. Yeah. Um, we want more life because we're super squishy right now and kind of dying. Now with our rocket bombs, we're sort of hunt enemies down, which feels very satisfying. We don't get the area effect as much anymore, but uh, uh, it feels pretty good. Where's that last guy? 
They were pretty strong. I think this is my preferred method of doing this. Rocket bomb and then just completely annihilate everything. Obviously the best thing you can get on the gun, so... I can use this. Okay, we're about 30 seconds behind at this point. We start off with a Meg. Try to get it clean. I think we got both of them, so that was pretty good. Um, and then we just go for it. We try to keep them close together, ideally. First stage Minotaur. Um, that was a weird something going on there. Um, and then yeah, we just basically do this, and then rocket bomb them to hell. Trying not to die. Like that. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Who's champion now? Wait. Hi, Shade! I wouldn't say not hi to the Shade. That would be rude. Always gotta say hi to the Shade. Um, yeah, we're one split behind right now. About a minute and a half, so... That's okay. We'll take that. Um, we will actually... Move to the Tooth, because I might not get another Death Defiance and then I'm going to die to Hades, which would suck. Trying to manually move forward the timer here. I think that works. Yeah. This is absolutely ridiculous once you have proper speedrunning upgrades. You just like breeze through the rooms. Like, look at that. I'm not in. Th these enemies don't even bother me at all anymore. Just like do, 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 do. murder, 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 murder. Moving on. Oh, I love this guy. He goes down pretty quickly. And then you just kill the ad. And that's that. He's, I think, one of the fastest ones, honestly. The fastest mini bosses, that is. I want my five tunnel sticks now, so it's out of the system of the game, and then I can have not a five tunnel sticks next round, ideally. Um. Fired at the wrong time there. Ah, uh, two tunnel sticks. Well, let's go. Yeah, why not? Let's grab a fish. Fishy. 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 There we go. Not that we need this fish, but I just wanted it, so I got it. Again accepts the sack. Moving on to the boss fight. God, guys, it is about a thousand degrees in here. I don't know if you can tell, but I am melting right now. The heavens and the seas belong to, belong my, to brothers. my brothers. 
but know that you're still in my domain. Hmm. See, that is what you think. Oh, I got the first face without him disappearing. Let's go. I think that's the first time I got that. Second stage. I'm sure she'll wear you down eventually. Treat her with respect. No pass for that. Dogs. Okay, just gotta make sure I don't die. Nice crit. Second phase. Let's go. <laughs> Double sweep and the spin. You destroyed me there. Half time. Okay, not the fastest Hades fight I've ever had, but pretty quick so far, I think. Ooh, okay, we need to get in there. Now just don't fuck it up. Okay, I'm actually gonna take the safe route on this one. Because I don't wanna die here. Oh boy. Fuck. Crap! I did die. I took way too much damage on this one. Ah, well. Wasn't the run anyways. It's okay. Wasn't the run anyways, yeah. Oh man. When I get started just me. You saw Deuce's back, right, Meg? She's getting another chance. Nick's, Nick's reconsidered. reconsidered. I saw. Nix doesn't often change her mind. You don't sound all that pleased. Hmm. This never should have happened. Zachary. Spoiler dialogue. Oof. Yeah. How is your run going? Any better than mine? Ooh, a little aquarium. Look at that. That's cute. How goes it, fishies? 531 fish caught. That's a lot of fish. Huh. What's this? this place looking? Oh, you can overlook it all. That's nice. So nervous. I'm at nine minutes straight for Hades. I'm afraid of fighting him. Ooh. I don't think you can do sub 10. My best Hades fight is a minute 10, it seems. Um. If you do him in under a minute, that would be impressive. Not as comfy as it looks. I'm just looking around the house now. Keep me updated on how it goes. The head chef is on the board. Do, 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 Oh, Still fancy. <laughs> I love. Show yourself. Show yourself. Can I just push these? <laughs> Not sure what that achieves, but I like it. It's almost eight o'clock. Almost eight o'clock? Uh, not quite. Not quite. Hi, How's Than. Rail of Adamant's been working out for you lately? Always, Always figured the direct, direct approach was more your more style. style. Though, Though I, I happen to have a look at your permanent record lately. And it turns out you're doing, a lot, out you're doing a lot of work with that thing. Been running a lot of rail recently. I'm willing to pry into others' business. That rail's been working out just fine, thanks. Though now that you mention it, how well do you know Eris, one of Nick's daughters, right? Seems she willed the rail before me. The mortals call her Strive. She and her children. It's thanks partly to the dedicated efforts I'm so busy all the time. Though it's best we didn't speak of her, I think. 
Okay. Got a nice little cozy table there. Some chairs. Wonder Wonka, how did the run go? Tell us. We want to know. 10.13? I mean, that's another PB, isn't it? That's pretty awesome. I know you want it to be sub 10, but that's pretty great, honestly. Congrats on that PB. Yeah, great, but so close. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. Don't worry about it. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day here. I am mostly very hot. I would say tired, but I'm just... It's very, very warm in here. Um, and I have a fun d, &D session ahead of myself tomorrow, so I'm going to get some sleep at a reasonable time. I have also been working on a YouTube video for you guys. Uh, let me move over here. Um, that I'm hoping to release soon. Uh, it'll be one of the single god runs that we did. Um, you will know. I'll, I'll let you know when I actually put that out. But um, yeah, I might work a little bit more on that so I can get that done and then head to sleep. Thank you all for coming by. I hope you have a lovely evening. And thanks, thanks for finishing Pokemon with me. I'm excited, and I'm excited to be moving into Transistor next week. Um, I'll be off on Tuesday next week because I have to see off a friend. Uh, he needs help moving his computer that I built for him to the train station. So he needs a, an extra pair of hands for that, and I will be helping him with that. But I'll be back on Thursday with more Hades speedrunning. And on Saturday, we're going to try out Transistor. New game. Hype that. I'm excited for that. Very excited, actually. Um, yeah. See you guys around. Bye.